Hello everyone, it's Bianca again, Callista, Callista's mother. Um, so it is the night before her big jaw distraction surgery. And I just want to go over to you, go over with you what I did to prepare for the surgery. So of course I packed my bags. I know in hospitals it can be really cold. So it was very important for me to have comfortable clothes. So I didn't have very many like drawstring pants, long sleeve shirts, sweaters, or like comfy socks. So what I did is I went to the thrift store because they have plenty of those type of clothing. Not the best looking, but they're comfortable. So I bought like several pants, several long sleeve comfortable shirts. And um, for Callista, I know usually when she's in the hospital, she has the hospital gowns. But I also know as time goes on in her stay, that they sometimes allow you to put clothes on. And because they're operating on her face, I only got outfits, like the full body ones that she could just put her arms and legs in and like zip in it or button it up just in case she gets cold or they say it's okay. I got her some socks um, and I know they have blankets, but they never really have like thick blankets. So I'm bringing like her thick blankets and I got advice from some woman who had a long hospital stay during her pre-op appointment that it is very important to bring your own blanket and pillow so I got that. What it took um, for me also to prepare, um, I thought about snacks and entertainment while I'm there because again, we're talking about being there for like estimated month long period. So I did get a puzzle that is a thousand pieces, really tiny, tiny pieces. Did not know it would be that tiny, but you know, I'll have something to do. Um, so I got the phone call for her pre-op appointment. Um, we went in, it was a very quick appointment. I just met with the anesthesiologist who just explained how the process was going to go basically they're going to give her like a mass over her face that will help her fall asleep and then they would intubate her put the tube down her throat to breathe for her during surgery and they'll start the process so it was very it was very simple and very easy and a few days ago i got the phone call from the surgery department surgical department to not feed her any formula after midnight she can have like pedialyte water or apple juice they said but it stops at 7 30. we have to be in at 8 30. what does the day before look like before your child gets surgery will be different for every parent for me, it was no sleep at night, all stress all day. I tried to distract myself by staying heavily involved in my other children. But every time there was a quiet moment, it does pop up. I feel so nervous. Nervous and scared for Callista. I keep looking at her keep playing with her, keep kissing her, keep talking to her, letting her do all her favorite things, letting her run around as much as she wants, even though she's being destructive, because I know she'll be bedridden for a while. Um, am I emotional? Internally, I am. Externally, no, I didn't cry, I can't cry anything because I'm hopeful and I'm optimistic but it is terrifying you know when you know what's getting ready to happen 
it is um what is helping me get through it is this right here feeling like talking and telling the details could possibly benefit another family who will or who is getting a jaw distraction helps and but most importantly faith praying lots of praying it's, it's terrible to say but every time i'm in situations like this it's like the bible looks more appealing the word of god i can hear louder so um yeah i'm contacting everyone i know like i pray, pray for Callista, pray for Callista, pray for Callista. So that does help. Um, no sleep. Mm -mm, no. If you can, that's good. That's great, but not not me. I'm just worried about it. But I know she'll be fine. She'll have a team. ENT, of course, will be there. Plastics will be there. Pulmonary pulmonary I think they said they said they have a whole cardiac though everyone is going to be in there with hers so I have no doubt that she will be okay I just wanted to go over the details with you nothing exciting has happened yet um but you know as it goes I shall share with you and of course if is something that you wanted to know about that you feel like I didn't touch bases on you you can contact me and you know I will let you know but as far as me right now I'm being strong but I feel scared Callista is so happy because she has no idea what's happening to her she had a hard time going to sleep last night because she just wanted to dance and play around but um yeah S what's happening in this in Callista's story and you know I would really appreciate if you as well if you have a belief to please pray for Callista and I will keep you posted tomorrow is the big day and let's hope everything goes well I, I did want to mention another thing in terms of if you are, how preparing for surgery affects the family. That's important. I've been having conversations with my son and the kid, the boys, letting them know, you know, Callista's getting surgery, um, mommy's not going to be here for a while and um, how it has affected my son. He's been real clingy lately. If you know him, you know he's always clingy, but it's been more than usual. Um, how it affects the spouse. My husband has been moody. You know how men are. They don't want to be emotional, but you can tell they're emotional that's how he's been um how it has been on our marriage has been really stressful it's like we're both in the same headspace we're both not in a good headspace so we cannot be supportive to each other right now we're trying to i'm trying to be understanding when he has his moment um when he when i feel like he's being a little mean He's trying to be understanding when I have my moments and he feels like I'm being a little mean. We're both trying not to be a little mean in front of the kids and we are trying to, um, it's been really hard trying to come up with a schedule for the kids while you're in the hospital, trying to make sure that they are distracted with activity or fun so they don't miss you so much. But I, I don't know if it's gonna work. Yesterday I went to the grocery store. I tried to stock it up for all of their favorite things, even if some of the things that I know they like are not good for them. But I guess like being able to have their favorite snack every day 
to kind of ease the why is mom not here thing. It's really going to stop trying to be at two places at once. Um, as I said before, I'm not leaving Callista's side because she is two now. And when she was in the hospital as an infant, she wasn't as aware of what is going on. So it was okay f for me to go home and take a shower or come right back, get, get, spend a little time with the son. But now that she's older and she's aware of what's going on, I just don't want her to be awake in her hospital room alone. The nurses there are wonderful, but they also have other patients. So I don't see them being in there with your baby if, the, you know, they're crying or confused like as much as you would like for them to be and Callista does not take well to strangers so even if she was left alone with the nurse she would be hysterical so I plan on being there for her every step of the way and as for my son I have an arrangement with my husband to, I'm with the girl you're with the boy you know bond with him do a fun thing with him once you get him settled you know come to the hospital be with the girl I, whatever he wants to do I don't want him to feel overwhelmed and stressed like he has to go from here to there to here to there so I did tell him that he does not have to come um, to the hospital every day if he doesn't if he wants to rest, sometimes that's okay because I am with her. She is covered. So basically what I'm trying to say is it is complicated when you're trying to figure out the dynamics of, okay, what are the arrangements for everyone else? You know, the food arrangements, who's watching them, what are they going to do? How are you going to, you know, still parent? Make sure homework is done while at the same time worrying about your child who is going into surgery so um that's a good thing to consider that you know planning for that and as i said before i just got this surgery date two weeks ago so it wasn't like i had a a month long time to prepare so it's all been really scrambled but a key takeaway note if you are preparing to go into surgery for your child comfortable clothes, warm clothes, things to keep you distracted, especially during the surgery. Um, arrangements for the other family and prayer. So that's how I'm doing. It's okay if you don't get no sleep. I'll try to go back to sleep after this, but it's probably time. The sun is coming up to um, get my son ready for school. So yeah, I will keep you posted tomorrow on what is happening and how it is happening. And again, I ask, just pray for Callista. Pray for Callista. So yeah, have a good day.